Cape Town and its startup scene keep booming. Programmers, tech enthusiasts and entrepreneurs flock to the Cape of Good Hope to make the future a reality today already. And many meet at places like this, the Bandwidth Barn, one of several co-working spaces and business incubators in Cape Town. I'm Ian Merrington, I'm CEO of the Cape Innovation and Technology Initiative and the Bandwidth Barn. We are Africa's oldest incubator, we're in our 22nd year. Part of a rich and vibrant um, innovation ecosystem is definitely physical space. You know, you need a certain kind of vibe um, and for us uh, uh, co-working is, is, is really important, particularly for a lot of the types of tenants who are working in a similar area and we find when they get together and they see that they're trying to solve similar problems, often they interact and they start to collaborate and that's where co-work space comes in. Uh, I think the same with all, all co-work spaces, you know, we, we took a big hit when everyone started to work from home, but it forced us to innovate you know, and I think we moved a lot of our programs online. But Ian and his colleagues are also hands-on with latest tech. We started a biotechnology cluster and core to that cluster is this open source biotechnology lab where entrepreneurs can come and experiment and develop their businesses. And these are people who wouldn't otherwise have access to this level of, of laboratory equipment. We are one of the only spaces on the continent, in fact, that have an, this model of, of open source laboratory where we don't take a stake in their IP and where we provide them with incubation and acceleration support and advice. Often they are specialists in deep science, but not necessarily business people. And that's where the value of our our entrepreneurial development programs come in. So they've got the laboratory they have access to, they have office space here, and it's surrounded by entrepreneurial development programs. We have a company here called Mizanzi Meat, and they are a cultured meat um, producer, so they're looking to create meat out of plant material, and we have people working on in the cosmetic industry, um, we have people producing milk out of, out of insects, so a, a real diversity of, of applications. Especially young people are attracted to this vibrant hub that also offers training opportunities. This looks very complicated. Oh, that's great, very cool. Just so you roll it up and you roll down. And that's hello, it's hello nice, yeah. So it's, it's just kind of like a squeeze back here. Yeah? This area here is the capacity program, which is our digital skills accelerator, where we teach um, youth coding and give them digital um, enablement, um, digital literacy, um, work readiness and job readiness um, to enable them to enter the digital job market and digital ecosystem. Over the last three years, we've produced three and a half thousand candidates and we, who we've given job opportunities to in the market. Everyone's aware of South Africa's unemployment crisis, you know, and there is a view that it's actually a skills crisis and not an unemployment crisis, because like everywhere in the world, the digital economy is booming and there's this big demand for, for digital skills. And currently there's a lack of digital skills coming into the market, so particularly the schooling system um, isn't very good in created, creating digital literacy. So programs like this bridge that gap. It's a massive opportunity. It's something I really want to do. Um, we're moving into the future where um, technology will evolve more. So it's a great opportunity for my future and to go into this career I'm uh, very passionate about. There's so many opportunities, uh, great opportunities out there. This is definitely a stepping stone for my future because I definitely want to see myself as a developer, software developer, and this program is like initially driving me or pushing me to that direction. The startup scene in Cape Town is very vibrant. Cape Town has a, has a wonderful entrepreneurial spirit. You know, I think it goes along with the lifestyle. Amazon Web Services, AWS, was invented in Cape Town. Um, we're the home of NASPASS, you know, we're the home of some amazing fintech startups, biggest fintech startups on the continent. It's a, it's a rich and vibrant ecosystem and it's been recognized as being more vibrant than Lagos, Nairobi and Johannesburg combined. We're incredibly optimistic. You know, we see Africa and the continent as an economic growth market. Technology is actually going to enable the African economy. 